All right, guys, Mike Caldwell here with CrossFit BNI. Uh, we're going to talk about the class plan, lesson two for the CrossFit Affiliate University. One of my favorite days today, we're going to do clean and jerks. We're going to build for a heavy set. Uh, for today, we're going to concentrate on the clean and jerk, doing the proper movement. It is a touch and go, so we want to focus on keeping the good grip on the bar, touching the ground, catching in that good front squat, and then going up overhead. One of, the, one of my most favorite days to teach, heavy lifting day, especially the clean and jerk. So we broke it down like this, three minutes for a white, uh, whiteboard brief, asking if it, there's any injuries, anything we need to be aware of, and letting them know the standards of today's workout and the intended stimulus. Then we have seven minutes to do a general warm up and have everything listed up here on the board, getting everybody in a big circle, seeing how the range of motion is, going through some leg swings, doing some alternating elbows in step into a Spider-Man, uh, alternating toe touches, good mornings, leg swings, uh, doing 30 seconds of a downward dog, uh, also the Cobra, and then uh, lower back specific with the uh, alternating scorpion twists, and then getting the PVC pipe out for some PVC pass-throughs, overhead squats, uh, and good mornings with the PVC. Then we break it down, about 10 minutes of specific warm-up. I like to break it down first on the squat clean progression with the PVC. So we're gonna go over the setup. Again, having everybody in a circle, checking their stance, uh, making sure they're set up correctly on the, on the deadlift. Then after that, going into the high pull <clears throat> from mid thigh, opening up the hips, squeezing the glutes, making sure that elbows are nice high and outside. Then we go into hand cleans, catching that bar, elbows up nice and tall, making sure that we point our elbows forward and we sit back on our midfoot. After that, we have some hand cleans, then going to the front squats for five reps, checking again for depth and making sure that they have a good vertical back on the way down. Finally, finish off with some squat cleans with the empty barbell um, before we have our two minute break. That way you get some water, towel up. It is Florida, it does get hot in here, especially without any air conditioning. So we wanna make sure that they get some H2O. After our break, we go to another eight minute specific warm up for our split jerk. On our split jerk, we're gonna focus on grip. Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna focus on hands and hips, hands on the hips to the jump position for the split. And then reset. We're gonna do about five to six reps of that. Again, checking on form, making sure that everybody's balanced out. Then five uh, thumbs on the shoulders into the jump and land position again, making sure we have that upright torso and we're balanced. Then from the shoulders, we're gonna jump and punch. Making sure that feet and land, the feet hit the ground at the same time, the hands extend up overhead, stacking the hands over the shoulders. Then we introduce the PVC pipe on the same concept doing five reps of each, cleaning up any form that needs to be. Then we have six minutes of a barbell warm up, introducing the clean and jerk, doing three sets of touch and go uh, with the empty bar and then loading up the weight, getting to their starting, uh, starting weight. Incorporate a two minute break again, that way they have some water, towel off, get any chalk or wrist wraps that they need to do before we get started. And then we're rocking and rolling at minute 38 to the 55 minute mark before the workout is done. Um, going every two to three minutes on their clean and jerks. Give it enough time for the coaches to go around and check form. Uh, of course, myself, making sure that they, they uh, do the workouts efficiently and execute them correctly. Then after that, we have a good five minutes of clean up and cool down afterwards. Uh, lots of high fives, lots of ringing the bells, keeping the energy level up, uh, making sure there's some good music on. All right, that's going to wrap up our lesson two. Thank you.